Hey guys, welcome back to Purely Walking. Or should I say welcome back to me purely sitting down in my dining room table. You know that when you get a sit down video from me, it's because of the weather outside. And right now it's not exactly raining, but it is like really, really extremely humid and hot. I can have a heat stroke or something happen to me if I walk around showing you someplace. So I'm just gonna play it safe and sit down with you guys. I wasn't planning on making this video, but you guys made me do it. Yes, you did. And I'll explain why. So about three months ago, I made a video on Altos de Chabón and one of you commented and let me know that a girl called La Gringa Latina made a video about leaving the Dominican Republic. I had no idea about this video. I had heard of La Gringa Latina. I'm not sure if I've seen like more than one or two videos from her, but this specific video I had no idea about and one of you guys, one of my subscribers actually commented below my video and told me about it. And one of you actually confused me with her in one of my videos you commented as well, letting me know about her comments regarding the Dominican Republic. I was highly confused, but then somebody else commented below saying, no, you're confusing Ali with La Gringa Latina. We have nothing alike, you guys. We are completely different, and she is a very beautiful girl, but no, I am not her, she is not me. So that is why I'm making this video, because somehow you guys dragged me into this because of your comments on my videos. So somehow I feel eluded now to follow up on this story. And recently, some of the threads of those comments that I mentioned have actually gotten bigger because more people and more people are commenting on them. So that is why today I am going to be reacting to La Gringa Latina leaving the Dominican Republic and why she would never live here. And not to toot my own horn, but I am fully Dominican and I have lived here for many, many, many years. And so I think I have a little bit of a grasp on what Dominican society is like. So this is why I feel that I have knowledge enough to make this video for you. Now for the record, it is hot outside, but you know you cannot grab away from me a cup of coffee. So I have my Café Santo Domingo over here. Don't judge me, I know it's hot and we still drinking coffee. It doesn't matter, I still love my cup of gel, like the gringos would say. Cheers. Guys, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Did you know that there is a very high percentage of you that watch my content without being subscribed? Also, if you like to donate any amount you want to my channel, please use the super thanks button as I do not have Patreon and many of you have asked me about that. That is the way that you can donate directly to my channel. Also, I recently opened a members blog on my channel, so if you wanna know little tidbits of where I am day to day, things like that, when I'm out with family, or little bloopers of different videos, I have fun things like that over there, so you might wanna check that out if you want to support my channel and also get a little extra content here and there. So in La Gringa Latina's video, she made some interesting points and the overall gist of the thing, just to summarize it, is the fact that she was moving to Colombia and she didn't feel comfortable living in the Dominican Republic at all because she felt that the color of her skin and her features were actually making her stick out of the society and it made her feel privileged, but in a sense that made her feel actually uncomfortable with some comments that were made to her. And so she felt like she needed to go to another Latin American country where she felt that she didn't stick out as much. Una de las razones, pues la razón principal, porque a mí no me gustaría vivir aquí. Yo nunca jamás quiero sentirme que estoy rodeado de una sociedad que me me trata con un privilegio que no debo tener. Now, like I said, she did make some interesting points in her video, but there are some things that I did not agree with and I'm not trying to bash on her or anything, but simply things that I simply don't agree with. First of all, she starts out by saying that she does like the Dominican Republic and the culture and the vibe of the city and things like that. She does enjoy being here, but um, she goes on to say that it is very, very hot. And then she starts talking about the issue of race and colorism. Si estoy hablando honestamente, a mí me gusta más la cultura dominicana sobre la cultura colombiana. Eh, aquí hace mucho calor, por ejemplo. Básicamente con este video quiero entrar al tema, explicarles tal vez 
la razón y estoy abriendo un tema un poco controversial. She starts off by saying that the racism and the colorism issue in the Dominican Republic has a lot to do and is tied to our historical context. Este país tiene una historia bien complicada dentro del tema de la raza y el sentido antinegro a través de generaciones. And I think she has a point there. We actually have a very convoluted and very, very confusing history with especially Haiti, France, and Spain. And so if you read up on Dominican history, I think you would understand a little bit more uh, with regards to uh, certain animosity between Haitians and Dominicans. But she does go on to say something that I do not agree with or ca that can be taken out of context. And is the fact that what she says implies that the Dominican Republic is the perpetrator of the racism against Haiti and that we are the ones that have conformed this um, society of racism against the Haitians. Historicamente, la República Dominicana ha creado un ámbito de conflicto y anti haitiano para ese inmigrante haitiano y ese querer de quitarse del negro de, de este país. But she does leave out the fact that it was Haiti that tried to invade Dominican Republic plenty of times and our national independence. Guys, Dominican Republic's national independence is from Haiti, not from Spain as some people would have it. So basically, Haitians tried to invade our country and us Dominicans trying to defend ourselves will try to rid them off. But what she did mention about Trujillo and the massacre against the Haitians was very, very real. But there is a reason why Trujillo was killed, you guys. Everybody rejected his way of doing things. And I don't think there is anybody in this country that agrees with that massacre and what occurred in that time. But to put it into context, what you do have to understand is that Dominicans never invaded Haiti. It was always Haiti trying to invade us. And even though we do have correct and um, formal diplomatic relations and all of that, that history still kind of stirs up some feelings, if you know what I mean. So that is the historical context. I encourage you to read up on it because the Dominican Republic history is quite, quite impressive. It almost seems like a telenovela or something like that. Um, so it is very confusing. A lot of back and forth, you know, there's Spain involved, there's France involved, and there's the actual Haitians involved, and then there's Dominican patriots involved. And then ironically, even the, the United States, the United States was involved because they did um, come here and uh, establish a military regime in the country as well. So even the United States was involved here. Guys. Now, Lauren, La Gringa Latina, goes on to say that she actually, the main reason why she would not live in the Dominican Republic is that she felt so, so privileged when she was here because of her skin color and her light features. And the comments that people will make as she walked by made her truly uncomfortable. And so I understand that part. Like I understand the aspect that she would feel uncomfortable with somebody, you know, um, calling her out. Oh, la rubia! Look at how pretty she is. Look at how beautiful she is. La última vez que me quedé aquí en abril del año pasado, yo me quedé literal por el otro lado del río, del lado río, del río Osama, aquí. Me quedé ahí y solamente crucé la calle cinco minutos caminando desde este punto donde estoy en la plaza. Y me acuerdo que una vez me pasó, like, just like. <laughs> I was making a scene and it was just the most uncomfortable thing in this whole world. Like, se sentía demasiada, demasiada, demasiada incómoda para mí. Esa glorificación del blanco. And guys, objectively, this girl is very, very beautiful. Like, with standards of Dominican men, this girl will like stick out like a sore thumb. Like she is truly, truly, truly pretty. So, you know, it's not unfathomable to think about this beautiful girl walking down the street and people calling her out, you know what I mean? Also, she talks about like some men were trying to like help her um, in such a way that she felt almost like uncomfortable. They were trying to help her cross the street. And then she says, that if it were an old lady and with like with dark skin color, they probably wouldn't help her. Pensando, me habrían tratado de esa manera cuando yo estaba cruzando la calle. Si yo fuera una mujer de 60 años, eh, negra, gorda. <laughs> I 
have to disagree with her on that point because Dominican men are very chivalrous and they also are very um, empathetic to other people. I mean, I've seen it with my own eyes how Dominicans help each other. They help ladies up on the bus. They help old ladies cross the street, blind people. They help blind people cross the street as well. They don't see their skin color. They don't see, you know, how much they earn a month. They don't see any of that. Actually, one of the most favorite things that international travelers have to say about the Dominican Republic is about the people here. How amazing Dominicans are, how open we are to everybody, especially those that are coming from abroad. Now, we'll say that people coming from Europe and the United States are especially blessed to come here because of the fact that since they are powerful countries, people look at them as someone who is helping out the economy, who has money to spend since they are rich countries, you know, objectively rich countries they're coming from. They, Dominicans see them as people who have money to spend in the country, you know, someone that is actually going to help out the local economy. So it's no surprise why people will want to treat these Europeans and Americans in a very, very special way. That's not only US and Europe. All travelers here are welcome in the most gracious way. You have anecdotes, this is anecdotal evidence of course, but we have anecdotes from people all over the world telling us just how good they felt when they came to DR because how open, how nice, how gracious Dominicans are. And actually, I looked up the video of La Gringa Latina herself and in that video, in her video, there were Argentinians, Venezuelans, people from all over the world talking about how awesome Dominicans are and how she was maybe misinterpreting those comments that were made to her. Now the weirdest part of what she had to say in the video was the fact that she concluded that Dominicans are racist or that they enforce colorism in the DR because of the way she was treated well. So it's kind of like a backwards thing. So because she was treated well, she concluded that obviously people from dark skin colors were treated badly. Cuando es así, que la gente te valora más por ser blanco? ¿Qué está diciendo de ellos mismos, de los negros? Yo no soy mejor que cualquier persona porque soy blanca. Y ellos no son peores porque son negros. Pero esa es la cómo se manifiesta el racismo aquí en la República Dominicana. Pero cuando la gente te trata mejor por ser blanca, eso es, por el otro lado, racismo. Yo veo y yo siento el privilegio que tengo sobre lo demás, siendo una mujer blanca, alta, rubia, con ojos claros. I mean, does one thing lead to another necessarily? I don't think so. I don't think that just because she was treated very, very, very well, that dark skinned people here are treated very, very, very badly. It was like she kind of concluded that there was like backward racism towards her, which I don't think that's necessarily logical to think. It's okay. So you guys, this girl is completely free and everyone is completely free to move to whatever country they feel comfortable in. But to put out these kind of statements in a video with her thousands and thousands of subscribers didn't seem really necessary to me because a lot of expats are actually watching her video and getting some information and that might actually impact our tourism. So I'm making this video just to let you know if you are an expat that are uh, moving to DR or you're wondering about life in DR, just know that you will most likely be treated in the most marvelous way when you come here. And I want all my subscribers to comment down below if what I'm saying is true or false because I know that people here are loving and very open and very happy to receive people from abroad, especially expats from the US, from Europe, and from all over the world, actually. Another point I would make is the fact that her anecdotal experience cannot be used to just generalize the entire country. I mean, I understand if she felt, you know, a little bit uncomfortable with certain comments or men hitting on her in the street or whatever, but I wouldn't take that one experience or two experiences to just say outright that the entire Dominican Republic has colorism or racism. 
But that is not to say that those things do not exist in this country. It is very well known that there are Dominicans that are racist, that are unfortunately do take into account the color of people's skin, and that is just awful and horrible. But I will stick out my hand and say that is not the majority of us, okay? There are a lot of beautiful, beautiful, open and happy people here in the DR, and you will most likely not experience this if you come here. All right, guys, that is my position on this topic. I encourage you, if you want to be documented on all these things, go watch her video so you can know exactly what she said, and then come down and comment down below what you think and what your experience has been in the Dominican Republic if you've come here. So all the people that get to watch my channel and get to watch my content can know the reality of the DR. All right, you guys, this video has run out long enough. Don't forget to comment your opinion on all of this below. This is me signing out. Me and my coffee. We'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.